our time of confession and our time of insurance assurance both come from Second Chronicles verses one to uh, or chapter one, excuse me, verses seven to twelve. In the first part of that, we read these words. That night, God appeared to Solomon. I lost my spot, of course. That night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon answered, God, you have shown great kindness to David, my father, and have made me king in his place. Now... Lord God, let your promise to my father David be confirmed. For you have made me king over a people who are as numerous as the dust of the earth. Give me wisdom and knowledge that I may lead this people. For who is able to govern this great people of yours? Let us come to God in prayer. Father in heaven, we are told in the book of Proverbs that wisdom searches among the streets, crying out to see who will come and follow her. And we hear in this story that Solomon, though, though not a perfect king or a perfect man by any stretch of the imagination, nonetheless seeks out wisdom. Lord, we confess. Sometimes we do not pursue wisdom. We do not pursue knowledge and understanding. So Lord, we pray that you will forgive us for those times in which we have acted foolishly. We have spoken foolishly. We have not sought out wisdom or knowledge, but in Dead have plunged in head first like a, like a bull in a china shop. Lord God, please hear us as we confess to you this morning. As we examine ourselves and as your Holy Spirit opens up to us, hear, O oh God, as we confess to you those ways in which we have not sought out your wisdom. Lord God, please forgive us for that. We ask, O oh Lord, <clears throat> here and now, we ask, O oh God, for wisdom and knowledge that we may lead one another in your name and as servants, as servants just like Jesus, you were here on earth. May we, with that wisdom, that wisdom of love and service, that wisdom that comes from you, O oh God. May we grow and serve your people and this world in your name and for your glory. Amen. Carrying on with Second Chronicles, this is what God says to Solomon in response. He says, since this is your heart's desire and you have not asked for wealth, possessions, or honor, nor for the death of your enemies, and since you have not asked for a long life but for wisdom and knowledge to govern my people over whom I have made you king, therefore wisdom and knowledge will be given to you. And I will also give you wealth, possessions, and honor such as no king who was before you ever had and none after you will ever have. Now I don't know, of course, whether God will give you possessions and honor such as no king has ever had, but I do know that God's desire is to give you wisdom. And so receive God's assurance that as we go forth in this world, God will continue through his spirit to grow us in wisdom so that we may serve him 
serve this world with love that comes from God. Let us sing, We Fall Down. Let us stand together if you are able.